Hi, my name is Alvaro Bocanegra and I will present my work entitled um, Joint Modeling and Data Analysis Methods to Improve Cardiac Electrophysiological Procedures. A brief introduction to the clinical context. Um, sodium cardiac death causes about 20% of all deaths worldwide per year and ventricular tachycardia is an important cause of sodium cardiac death. About 80% of all the cases are related to ventricular tachycardia. Um, the main treatment after drug therapy is the radiofrequency ablation um, and while this is one of the most used uh, treatments, it is still suboptimal because patients may need multiple interventions before the ventricular tachycardia disappears. So there is a need on radiofrequency ablation improvement. Um, there are three approaches when uh, developing tools for um, radiofrequency ablation. Uh, first, we have the computational models, which aims to generate tools for analysis based on physics, artificial intelligence, which aims to uh, generate this kind of tools uh, based on patterns, and the clinical solutions, which are also based on physics, but they rely more on the physician's expertise to generate rules. Um, computational models work uh, really well for specific purposes, but they are very demanding on, in terms of a uh, computational power and time, which is short in the clinical context. Uh, on the other hand, artificial intelligence works relatively fast, uh, but uh, they are these methods are very data quality and quantity dependent, which is also a problem in the, in the clinical context. Um, and finally, clinical solutions are easy to apply in a real environment, but they have poor generalization. So the idea is to combine these three approaches together to develop tools to improve planning and execution of radiofrequency ablation procedures. So far, I've been able to uh, use simulated electrocardiograms, um, patient or, or real ECGs, and clinical data. Um, combining these sources in a cascade like a machine learning architecture using exibus and random forest to um, differentiate the site of origin of a uh, ventricular tachycardias. Specifically, um, I'm differentiating uh, if the site of origin for idiopathic ventricular tachycardias is in the left or the right ventricular foot tract. Uh, the next steps are related to uh, identifying the specific site of origin, not only if it's in the red or the light ventricle, but um, in which specific part is the, the site of origin. I'm also performing some multiple kernel learning analysis to try to find patterns on the data, and I'm analyzing uh, the models to find, try to find uh, patterns uh, that has certain clinical validity. Um, that's all for now, and uh, thank you.